Big question here. How did leap year get started? Well, CBS 4 meteorologist Ethan Rossick is joining us now to break all of this leap day lore down. Hey, Ethan. Hey, guys. And what if I were to tell you that a leap day or a leap year doesn't necessarily happen every four years? I didn't know that either until uh, today here. There's some math behind it, of course. That's why I'm here to kind of guide you guys through it here. But let's talk about exactly what a leap day and a leap year is. We get 366 days approximately every four years. It happens on February 29th for that extra day. It keeps the calendar overall in sync with Earth's orbit. Now 365 days, the days we all are very familiar with. Well, technically, that's a rounded number to go with the amount of time that goes for Earth's orbit, which is 365.2422 days. And over time each year, uh, that leaves us 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 56 seconds of unused overtime every year. So that time over four years adds up, and approximately we get 24 hours of unused time. But that number is also rounded time. It's actually uh, just over that, to say the least here. And that's why, yeah, not every four years is a leap year. This happens on occasion. It has happened in history. If it were to occur every four years with that math, because of that extra time and that rounding, that calendar year, we would have 44 minutes longer every year if it stuck to being every four years. So the reason why, you have to have a year that's divisible by both 100 and 400 to qualify in order for it to be a leap year here. In 2000, for example, that was a leap year, but 1700, 1800, 1900, the tops of the uh, centuries there, those were not a leap year because it doesn't qualify for this rule. So we're going to have leap years every four years until the year 2100 because 2100 is not divisible by both 100 and 400. Now, if we do not have any leap years or leap days, which isn't good news. That would affect lots of stuff. The seasons would be drifting. Christmas would be in the summer potentially. Growing and harvest seasons. Everything would be so thrown out of whack. That is why this system that goes back thousands and thousands of years still exists here. And this is something I learned myself here. I'm only, uh, I'm only taking a couple astronomy classes, neat to say the least. But we won't ha we'll, have a, uh, we'll have leap years every four years until 2100. Very interesting, Jenny. Wow.